Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Ryan Newman's Guaranteed Rate 2020 Ford Mustang. This is probably one of my favorite paint schemes from last year, but I do have some things to say about this die cast. Move the base out of here. What is that, Lionel? Lionel, what is that? And look at that! They just absolutely screwed the back bumper. Don't even get me started on the huge scratch on the side, or that the, like huge metal crack or whatever that is, because it's like it's not paint. And then a spot up there. I mean, Lionel, come on! I mean, I will. I have other examples of this. Like, I will be back and I will show you. I'm right now. I'm grabbing my Coil of Joy 2020 car. It's in the package, but you guys will be able to see that windshield is pushed in. Now, I was able to call the site that sold it to me, and they did actually give me another die cast. They didn't want the other one back, so I have two now. So that was cool. Um, so, I don't remember the name of the site I got it from. It was a while ago. I did do an unboxing video for it, though, so, um, yeah, that is definitely cool. Um, but I I love this paint scheme. Um, honestly, probably one of my favorite paint schemes from 2020, especially on the Ford Mustangs, and if... I, I would want to see what this paint scheme would look like on the next-gen Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Because that, oh my gosh, that would be um, amazing. So, I also just um, want to say that I don't hate Lionel. I just wish they would up their quality control. Because I don't know what it is with Lionel and their quality control. It's just not... It's not good. I mean, for example, I'll grab a die cast from yesteryear. Um, which one shall it be? Lionel, back in the days of like 2011, 2012, their die cast, as I roll over some paper in my rolling chair, because I guess a paper fell off my desk. Oopsie. Look at this. Back in yesteryear, Lionel would have, like, no mistakes on their cars. And any chips you see on this car is literally from me, me playing with it. Look at that. That's, it's amazing. But of course, Lionel would never put that much effort into their stuff nowadays because it's a waste of their time. They just want to get these products out and... Honestly, if you go take a look at some reviews of, I forgot whose channel it is, um, I'll put a picture up in the corner of the channel, go check out his videos, uh, he, he's got a ton of videos griping on Lionel's quality control, and I definitely think that it, that's not acceptable. Um, some of the things that I see with Lionel Quality Control is not acceptable, but I will continue with this review with a positive mindset, and we will take a look at the diecast for what it is, I guess. Um, right there you got Ryan Newman, which isn't placed correctly. On this side it is. That On that side it looks good. But on this side they just screwed it over. What the biff is that? And cue the sad Greg Biffle noises. Um, yeah, but this is absolutely a great, great paint scheme. I mean, I just love the overall idea, and I like when new sponsors come into NASCAR, because some of the sponsors we've lost over the years were some big ones. Like, GoDaddy, Farmers Insurance, um, I mean, heck, Target, Credit One Bank, they left recently. Peak antifreeze. They're gone. I mean, it just saddens me to see all these sponsors leave. Because you, you know that 
a lot of these teams are like struggling for sponsorship and you've got all these sponsors leaving Mountain Dew, Pepsi, that's all under the Pepsi camp. Um, and that's just, I mean, I wish it would stop. I mean, I know that NASCAR isn't what it used to be in the early 2000s when a lot of these sponsors came in. But if you look at a car from a while ago, I'll pull a car out. Look at, so this is a truck, but it was like this in cup cars too. A bunch of logos, just like everywhere. Just like a car full, plastered full of logos. Like a Matt Kenneth Cup car from the early 2000s. Look at how many logos are on that car. Take a look at take a look at it nowadays. Four on the side. And there, look how many were here. Three. Now I know that you don't really that NASCAR NASCAR got rid of the contingencies after 2018. You take a look look at how little contingencies they had even back then. But nowadays, look, they've got none. None right there. NASCAR doesn't allow them to have any. And I think that's... I, I don't like that. Um, that NASCAR is kind of taking away sponsorship from some teams. But I guess we'll get on with the... Oh, what is that? What the biff? Again, sad Greg Biffle noises. Um, got Coca-Cola there. He is a Coca-Cola driver. Um, almost looks like the Dodge logo. Ford. Um, Castrol. Mac Tools. Champion. Simeons. k &N, 3M. Sunoco. Oscar Mayer. Which, I'm gonna get his Oscar Mayer 2021 car. But, to be honest, this that's probably one of them I'm going to wait to get in the Authentic sign. I mean, 2021, not 2020. I'm going to wait to get that in the Authentic sign because I just I don't want the Cup Series banner on a 2021 car. It's just, it's not how it's supposed to be. Um, you can see Guaranteed Rate there. Not more, another Guaranteed Rate logo there. I like the arrow going down the car. It just looks so cool. The whole paint scheme concept is really cool that's really all i have to say about this video um i'm sorry i haven't uploaded in a while um i've been kind of rearranging my setup in my room um i think last time i showed you there was there was a wall with posters on it i showed you and then there was no cars hanging on that wall now that almost the top row of that wall is almost filled up i've been getting cars by by like the hundreds it feels like but hopefully we'll get back to normal uploads soon. And with that, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.